Hello everyone, uh, this is Vundaba. I am taking a quick little break from Command & Conquer for a little bit to play a turn-based strategy game. This is Diplomacy. It's a game that's a lot like Risk, however, it does not rely on dice rolls or chance. It is completely strategy and movement. And so I'm just going to play a single game because there is no campaign. This is actually based on a board game, just as Risk is. There are seven countries you can play as. They are Austria, Hungary, Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Russia, and Turkey. Um, I've already played a few games. Um, just so that I can make sure I get this over with in a reasonable amount of time, I'm going to go to normal. Um, I've already played games as Austria, Hungary, uh, Italy, and Turkey. Um, I think I'm going to be France for this one. France starts in France, and so let's get to it, shall we? Yeah, the, the loading screens are actually quite long for this game, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, so here's how it works. In this game, um, it's all about diplomacy. So, see, England wants me to do um, a peace agreement where we don't attack each other or anything like that, which I will do. Because that means that I do not need to worry about what they are doing um, for the most part. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to these are my three units right here um, and the way you, this works is it's not everyone takes their own turns everyone puts down their orders and then everything happens at once so for instance I'm gonna tell Marseille to go Oops. that's the thing if you accidentally stay in if there's a person there, then you only draft things and... See, I want to do move. See, it doesn't actually move yet, it just says I will move. And so, let's say Paris, he's going to move to Picardy because these things with the stars, they're called supply depots. The more you have of them, the more units you can have. So I am going to take Belgium. That is my plan and that's gonna leave to go into the ocean and since the first few moves are pretty quick and easy because as you'd imagine there's not much to them so they're gonna duke it out for those few over there they're gonna do all that I'm gonna move but see this all happens at once Now, later, you will hear a lot more grunting. Grunting is the way of saying there's some sort of conflict. And so, there wasn't much going on there because it was the first move. So now, we see the board after that move, and we can see what is holding what. And so... Um, I probably won't be able to take Belgium because they have two versus my one. But, I can easily tell those. Now the thing is, although it's already there, um, in order to get the unit from it, it needs to still be there at the end of the fall move. There's two halves to every move. There's the spring and the fall. And so that's what I'm going to do. And 
I'm going to... Um... I'm going to... Ask my ally, Britain... If they will... Help... Me... Um... If they will help me attack Belgium. Because that probably won't move... Because... Um, that's a new thing. That would be getting a new thing by keeping it there. Actually, I gotta... I'm going to include our original agreement in this. And now redo it. Okay. At now... See, the interesting thing is, although it's a computer player, they do actually think. I'm hoping they'll help. If this goes to an envelope, then I'll know. If we hear a, like, crumpling... If we hear that sound, it means they didn't like it. However, I'm still going to tell them to move into Belgium. Damn it, I didn't want to do a draft. Okay. You see... Oh, that's why. Because now that's adjacent. See, part of the agreement is that we won't move into anything adjacent. But... Um... Okay, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> Except this time without the complete agreement. They're probably going to reject it again. In which case, I'll have to move it in unsupported, which means I probably won't get it. Yep, alright. So, I'm just going to break our agreement. I'm going to backstab them and try and move to take Belgium because I'm going to be getting at least two new units which I can easily put in a position to start either taking over them or defend against their possible recursion. So all my moves are in and the turn. So now everyone moves. There's going to be a lot of conflict in that area. Oh, that's why they didn't want to help. See, I knew that they would try and move in there, but when you have two people move into the same place at the same time, um, there's no dice rolling, no anything. It's all a matter of who has support, who doesn't. See, in this case, it looks like uh, Germany. Yeah, Germany had support, so they're going to take Belgium. And so that sucks for me. I wanted Belgium. <laughs> but I still managed to take two new places so I can build two new units. And to get back at England for not helping, I'm going to build a navy in Brest so that I can start taking over England from behind. Oh, wait they're going to be building new people. I'm still going to build a navy in Brest. And I'm going to build... Let's see. What's up with the Italians? Um, I'll try and make a treaty with the Italians, I think. But I'll put this in Marseille. A nice army to help there. Okay. And so they built their things in England. Two navies. England being an island, it makes sense. But yeah, the the problem...